Hi everyone! Today I will show you how to clean brushes from oil paints when you need to change the color during work and how to wash the brushes at the end of work. So, I usually paint with brushes made of bristles and synthetics. I use several different brushes. I use linseed oil as a solvent. I'll pour it into a small jar. I'll paint something. Now I want to change the color. First I wipe the brush on the palette. I take a regular paper napkin and remove the excess paint with a napkin. I put the napkin in a bag, which I will then throw away. You will need quite a lot of napkins. Now there are two options. First way I can put this brush on a napkin and take a clean brush. I'll take the dirty brush when I need to, to paint in a similar color color again, for example green, or I can clean this brush and continue to paint with it. Don't worry, the oil dries for a long time. In a couple of hours that you work, nothing will happen to it. The main thing is to wash it well afterwards. However, I decide to continue painting with this brush anyway. I used two ways to clean the brushes. For the first way I use the linseed oil. I dip the brush in linseed oil and wipe it with a napkin. And so several times. I don't mix a brush in oil like you mix gouache or acrylic paints in a jar of water. Otherwise, all the linseed oil will become dirty and you will need to change it too often. I just dip a brush in there and that's it. Look, it's almost a clean brush. I want to make a light blue color. I think the brush is clean enough for this. Next I want to make a bright yellow color, so I need to clean the brush very well. I clean the brush again with a napkin. So then I need white spirit, turpentine or another solvent for cleaning. This is a more thorough cleaning. I pour the white spirit into a jar and close the jar with a lid necessarily, because it does not smell very well. I wash my brush in it, I wash it well. Our brush is clean. You can pour white spirit out of the jar and pour pure one into it. Then rinse the brush again. Close the lid so that white spirit doesn't smell. Now I can paint with light yellow color. If you need to change the color to the exact opposite, the brush must be washed very thoroughly. For example, in white spirit, because linseed oil doesn't completely cleanse. Linseed oil can be cleaned when you change the color to more or less similar, green to blue or a different shade of the same color. But if you first paint it in dark brown and then you need to paint in yellow or white or light red, then you need to wash the brush in white spirit or take a clean one. I clean the brush again with a napkin. So I will wash the brush at the end of the work. I wash it in the same dirty solvent, it is not a problem. The first washing is possible. Then I'll pour it out and pour a new one here. I wash the brush. The brush is clean. At the end of the work, all the brushes can be washed in one jar with white spirit. Then they need to be washed a second time in a clean solvent. It is not necessary to pour a clean solvent separately for each brush. Now you know how to wash brushes quickly and easily. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like. If you have found your own way to wash brushes, write about it in the comments. Bye bye!